All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. All right, now, so here's another video that my good friend Jennifer sent me. And Jennifer, thank you for the video. Now, the video deals with a frauditor that I'm going to take it that most of us, if not all of us, are familiar with. And that frauditor in question is Acra Amanda. Acra Amanda. Ho, oh, ho. Now, I found the video very interesting because, uh, as we all know, these frauditors like to go into uh, government locations and state that are uh, uh, aiming their cameras at people and poking jabs so that they can get into a back and forth argument with them. They call that auditing <laughs> auditing guys okay uh, picking a fight with somebody is now considered auditing well let's just say that this uh, a particular police department that she has been uh, harassing for quite some time now which was uh, which would be uh, West Palm Beach Police Department has now has now put a warrant out for uh, Google to give up uh, all the information on her YouTube account to them, okay? And let's just say Amanda's now going to find out what real uh, auditing is about, okay? Hey, so again, that's why I found that interesting because uh, uh, their type of auditing, frauders auditing, is looking to get into fights, okay? Well, uh, government is now going to show you what real auditing is, and I find it more interesting is because uh, let's take uh, Al Capone into a uh, question here. Whereas, uh, how did uh, Al Capone get taken out? Oh, he got taken out by the government because uh, he wasn't paying his taxes. And I think it's safe to say that we, uh, again, with their way of uh, going into these government locations and telling the employees that they work for them and that they uh, fund this operation, well, we're going to find out if Amanda has been um, telling the truth, okay? Uh, and I think they should be doing this shit to all of the damn uh, knuckleheads that are going out there poking jabs at our our public employees as well as our law enforcement officers okay uh, you want to call uh, aiming your cameras and getting into back and forth arguments with uh, with our employees and officers you want to call that shit auditing well I think this police department is going to uh, uh, put something into play that I think uh, other police departments should be doing to other frauditors okay but let's jump into the video and get a better idea of what uh, auditing is about oh what's going on guys Acura Amanda here have you guys ever gotten an email like this all right, so I think I can speak for everyone here that no, Amanda, none of us here have ever received an email like this from Google, whereas uh, we don't go out there harassing people for uh, the almighty dollar, okay? But apparently, you're getting this email from Google that states that uh, Google received legal process issued by the West Palm Beach Police Department directing Google to produce records related to a Google account that are uh, linked or associated with a specific identifier. You are receiving this email because your Google account is an account that is linked or associated <laughs> with that specific identifier. Now, that sounds like uh, that's you, babe, not us. That's you. All right, so this part of the email that Amanda received from Google is what caught my attention, whereas uh, Google is telling Amanda that if uh, they don't promptly receive a copy of a filed motion to quash, and a filed motion to quash is a file that is stamped by a competent court in a particular jurisdiction that will satisfy Google, well, if they don't receive that uh, a filed motion to quash within seven days, then Google may provide that information that that warrant is asking for. Now, why it caught my interest is because any content creator who has used other people's videos and gotten copy strike, well, uh, we have an opportunity to contest that copy strike. And when you contest it, uh, pretty much I'm telling uh, Google that, um, or YouTube I should say, that um, I'm using it and I'm covered by the Fair Use Act, right? Well, then Google now gives that individual who copy strike you seven to 14 days to uh, go through the court system and um, prove that you have every right to hit me with a copy strike or the person that is using your video but as we all know frauditors they like to make money but they don't want to go in their pocket 
they don't want to go in the pockets and pay the fees that are associated uh, with the court fees and shit like that. And, uh, hey, that's why nine out of ten times they lose, okay? Not only because the Fair Use Act covers what we're doing, but I think I put a good, uh, uh, I put a 50% where if uh, these frauditors were to spend money, go through the court system, I say... Ah, half the times we probably lose these copy strikes, okay? I, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, all they gotta do is go uh, go through the proper uh, court system and blah, 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 and they'd probably uh, get their way, okay? The fair use, has, you, you really gotta be doing things squeaky right to get, you know, to be covered under the Fair Use Act. And I, I'm the first one to say that I know I don't commentate as much as I should, and that's because I get a lot of you guys, oh, you talk too much, huh? play more video, less talking. I don't think you guys realize, and there's really no set time on uh, the amount of time you got to commentate. So there are videos that I get worked up, and yes, I do. I'm not going to lie, I admit, I talk too much, like I'm talking too much right now, okay? And you guys get, some of you guys get bent out of shape over that and I get those uh, uh, comments oh let's talk more video and blah 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 and you guys just don't realize it's just like a I don't know it's a I don't know if I'm explaining it right it's just you know the fair use act has to uh, if the frauditor would uh, would spend money go through the court system I would say nine out of ten times they would be hitting us left and right with copy strikes and getting it okay now I found that funny because here she look at how she titled the video uh, so she titled the video police serve Google with a warrant to gain access to my account and then look what she wrote on the thumbnail will Google comply question mark and then cross out the Fourth Amendment as if uh, Google if uh, Google complies then the uh, Google would be violating her Fourth Amendment right and I think it's safe to say that Google is a private entity okay Google cannot violate any of her rights because Google is private. It's a business. It's not government. Only government can violate a person's rights, okay? So, I tell you, Amanda, in my opinion right now, is shitting bricks. She may have that little smile on uh, her face there while she's communicating with her subscribers and uh, I don't know. Uh, I want to see the outcome because I honestly believe that other police departments can do the same thing now. We have other frauditors that have been targeting police departments, okay? Not to draw out this whole conversation in the video, but I think most of you guys are, uh, uh, know what I'm getting at, okay? And, um, well, I hope. I want to look forward to uh, the outcome of this year where uh, I'm also going to put a, uh, uh, you hear her make comments that she's going to uh, file a uh, public request on uh, uh, the, uh, why the police department did this in a sense, okay? And I'm going to do the exact thing. Listen, Amanda's hit me a couple of times with privacy acts and gotten it, okay? Gotten away with it where, uh, trust me, I, uh, I owe her one, okay? So, uh, let's get back to the video, guys, and uh, let me know your thoughts on this here, and I will see you in my next video. Apparently, the West Palm Beach Police Department is on its latest fishing expedition. That's right. So the West Palm Beach Police Department has served Google, apparently, with a search warrant to gain access to my Google account. And what they're looking for, who knows, guys. It's just another fishing expedition by yours truly, the West Palm Beach Police Department. Guys, I will keep you updated as this comes along, I'm going to try to reach out to Google and there is a case number that's associated in this email. I have already done a records request for this case number. More than likely, they're going to cite a statutory exemption, meaning until the case is closed, we will not know what the contents of this case number until, guys. Stay tuned, but there you go, guys. I have nothing else to report here. Acura Amanda signing out. Uh, West Palm, I hope you guys find what you're looking for. Good luck.